What up peeps, lovely to see you all again. Today we're gonna to be looking at the delightfully delicious and shred-tastic solo from Scream by Ben Sevenfold. Let's take a look. Okay, what a delicious solo. Let's have a look at the tuning. We're in drop C sharp, which goes C sharp, G sharp, C sharp again, F sharp, A sharp, and a D sharp. So get yourself in tune and we'll get started. All right, guys, let's have a look at the first section. Strap on your shred caps. I wanna start from fret 17 of the first string. I'm gonna play 17, 16, 13. Then I jump to 15 of the second string. At the end of that, I'm going to play 13, 16 on the first. And that's going to give me six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to repeat that idea, those two triplets making six notes. I'm going to do those six notes four times. So I'm going to end on that 16. Now when I work into the second group, it's going to be a similar idea, but a slightly different shape. We're only going to do three groups of six on this one and then a group of four, but I'll explain that as I go. So the next group's going to play 17, 16 on the first, then jump to 12. Then I play 14 of the second string. And then I'm going to play 12, 16 on the first again. And that's going to be our next group of six. I'm going to do three groups of six on that. And on the fourth group, I'm gonna end on the fourth note, which would be the 14 of the second string. So I'm gonna do three group of six, and then a group of four. Okay, hopefully that's all making sense. Let's try the whole thing thus far and put it all together. Okay, we're gonna take pretty much that whole shape that we just did on group two and shuffle that over a fret, and this is all gonna be pretty much the same thing. I'm gonna play 18, 17, 13 on the first string. Then I jump to 15 of the second, and then I'm gonna play 13, 17, and we're gonna do three groups of that group of six. Now in the last group of this, I'm gonna change the last note. So I'm gonna do the first four notes, actually five, and instead of ending on 17, I'm gonna end on 15. And that'll lead us into the last chunk. So let's do the group of three and then the fourth variation. Hopefully that's making sense. Then I work into this phrase. Let's slow that down. I'm gonna start from 16 of the first string. I'm gonna play 16, 15, 14, 12. And then I'm gonna work my way back up again. So I wanna get six notes before the change. 16, 15, 14, 12, and then a 14, 15. I'm gonna do that twice. And then I move over to this. So this does one group of six and then just a held note. So the second group of six on that was 17, 15, uh, 17 16, 15, and then I jump to 12. Then I reverse my steps, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'll just resolve to that pinky note on the 17th fret. So let's go from when we first had that 16 group. That's the first half of the whole section. So let's do what we've got slowly and then we'll deal with the variation at the end of the second half. Moving over. And then the latest chunk. Okay, so that's the first half of the section. We're actually gonna repeat the whole thing all the way up to 13, 15 on the first string. So the first three chunks are gonna be the same. Then this group. 
Now the very, very last group is gonna be slightly different. We're gonna treat the 16 the same way again. Two groups of six. And then instead of playing 17 with my pinky, I'm gonna go all the way over to 21. And I'm gonna play 21, 20, 19, 17. Then reverse that. And then finish on the 21. So we're gonna have And that's uh, all of the second half of that section. So that's the whole thing. So bear with me. Let's try and do the whole thing at a gentleman's pace and then we'll do it again even slower with some tabs. Bear with me on this one. Second half. One more time with some tabs. Okay, so this uh, second section does repeat multiple times. We'll just do it once and then you guys can uh, repeat it as many times as you wish. I've decided to go with the higher harmony because it is more sexy and delicious. So I'm gonna start off with this phrase. I'm gonna play 10, 12, 13 twice on the first string and then I wanna slide into 17. And then I work into this phrase. So what I've got there is I'm playing 9, 10, 12, then back to 9. And then I have a slide from 12 to 18. And then that resolves to 17. So let's have a look at what we've got thus far at a gentleman's pace. Okay, then I just work into a couple of cheeky arpeggios. This one's going to be based around a G minor, I guess. I'm going to play... 18, 15 on the first, then do a string skip to 19, 15 on the third. Then I jump to 17 of the fourth for my root note. So it goes. Then I'm gonna reverse that back up until I'm on 15 of the first string. So that was just going 15, 19 on the third and then ending on 15 of the first. And then we go into this. This is a little bit strange and augmenty, but anyway, it's got vibe. Uh, let's go 16, 12 on the first string. Then I've got a sort of a chromatic thing here. 12, 13, 15 on the second string. And the last thing I do is that cheeky augmented arpeggio. I'm playing 14 of the third, 13 of the first, and then 14 of the second. Very spooky. That's pretty much the whole section. Let's track it slowly from the start and then we'll do it again even slower with some tabs. One more time with some tabs. And that was the solo from Screen by Ben Sevenfold. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all very soon.